Howdy neighbors, welcome back to Eccentric Nature. I'm Eric Hayden and today I'm gonna to be covering the Whistly Garden Tour. Woo! They had a flower show recently and I had a chance to go see it. So uh, this place, I've just gotta say off the top, is incredibly lovely. Now, before I go anywhere, subscribe, hit the bell, like it, share it, all those fun things. But let's start off with the Dahlia tent here. Look at these guys, booyah! They had a tent full of these guys, and they were spectacular. I am telling you, every single one of them looking woo, booyah. Of course, inside the tent, it was playing havoc with my camera with the strobity stroby action. Back outside, they had lots of tents set up, and they were using them to sell all kinds of different garden products, flowers and uh, herbs and all different kinds of things. And I gotta say, their setup was banging. That, that's gotta be the word for it, banging, because um, compared to some of the other flower shows I've seen recently, they were nowhere near this good. And also, the, some of one of the fun things about Wisley is they have some nice pond areas. This one had uh, some ducks around it and some fish. Lovely fish. Ha ha ha. Glistening in the sun. Yes, fishies, enjoy. Have some free food. And yeah, here's some more of the displays. Um, these, they also had like these cactus displays of succulents and uh, yeah, but just all different kinds of flowers displays, um, cactus displays, uh, herb displays, displays of uh, different products that you can get for um, you, you helping your garden. They had trellises, they had, I mean, oh my gosh, everything you can think of there. There's, yeah, you can see here some bulbs all set up. Crazy. Hmm, these look like herbs to me. Yes, they are robes! Excellent! Let us explore! <laughs> I think it's time we go explore the greenhouse! Hello! Ooh! Misty time! Gets get misty! Now inside they had these beautiful flower displays set up around a uh, little ecosphere and an astronaut with his uh, NASA going to Mars <laughs> theme going on. I, I wasn't sure exactly why they did this, but it was really cool. It was awesome. Ooh, hello, waterfall. Ah, oh, yes. Now this, the, yeah, this setup as well. Awesome. They have a waterfall kind of setup also, I think, in uh, Kew Gardens. Uh, this one's very nice by itself. Uh, really like it. The flowers around it are awesome. But everywhere you go, this this is a very big greenhouse, and it's got everything you could hope for. A bunch of succulents. Uh, it's got a different sectors, uh, so it's got a more of a regular temperature sector. It's got a humid temperature sector. Um, so a different one for each style of plants that you can find, and there were tons of them. Wait, 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 wait. Is my hair really that bald now? Cool. But I found lots of wonderful orchids here. They had a couple hanging over here. And later on, I'm gonna show you some more that are even more awesome. Oh, look at these pink beauties. Hello, pink beauties. How are you today? Yeah, I mean, I'm just overall, I could I could spend, you know, tons of time in here. I mean, I spent, my wife was off do, and doing other things while I was still digging here with the anthuriums and friends because I could, me and greenhouses are simpatico. I could just hang out in them for ages because they got so many cool, interesting um, plants and flowers. I mean, the colors are just amazing. And the styles are, whew. Crazy, this one, hanging all the way down to the bottom floor. Whoa! Gotta love it. Hey, there's a hibiscus. Don't I use those for tea sometimes? Why, yes, I do. Hanging up in the rafters looks like uh, some wonderful moss. And these guys, man, they're, I love that, that's so cool. They had an indoor pond as well. Very nice lily pad set up, but again, it was very well structured, very beautiful, very pristine, so well set up. I 
I give you a little bit of idea of the scale on this peas lily. Look how big that is. It's hand size. Now we're getting into some orchids. Look at this vanda. Monster vanda! Look at the length of that. All oh, those leaves going all that way down. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. What? And they had a bunch of them, uh, tons and tons, a whole bunch of hanging ones. You can see a bunch of the smaller ones, the, the mini orchids um, in display. And just love it. All the different varieties you could hope for. Tons of different styles. I mean, oh, yeah. It's, it's like its own private little orchid show here. Um, where they had a, one or two of each of these different styles. And just love it. Hello there. Well, yeah, my little orchid heart was singing with all of these. So many great ones. And outside, we met a little bee friend on a passion flower. Hello, little guy. Getting some good stuff. One of the centerpieces of uh, this, pretty new actually, is there's this little uh, circular trail leading up to a lookout point where you can get a nice 360 degree view of uh, the whole gardens around. So it's like, look at this. Back to the greenhouse and boom. Now they also have a fruit garden. Fruit garden. What? They've got everything at Wisley. Yeah. And then uh, next to the fruit garden, uh, as you're heading down the way, is there's Rose Garden as well. Boom, 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 boom. And they had all these wonderful uh, um, sculptures around and topiaries. And uh, yeah, I mean, just the roses, even for late in September, were looking great. I was really surprised at how well all the roses are looking. But yeah, another nice little fountain we found with this really cool sculpture attached to it. <laughs> How awesome is that? Hello, dog sculpture. And another cool one. And they even had uh, Bubo from uh, Clash of the Titans. What are you doing here, Bubo? Well, yeah, like I said, the topiaries and all the, the different well-designed shrubberies. A shrubbery? It is a good shrubbery. I like the laurels particularly. Then that was just the thing for me overall. Wisley Art Gardens is so well organized. And I mean, overall, I think it, it, in some ways it beats Kew Gardens with just how well it's organized. And, and it's just amazing. So that's it. That's my tour for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you've been to Wisley Gardens recently, please let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, you guys take care of each other and enjoy touring those gardens.